David, we're taking a look at the new tablet and we're taking a look at some of the more interesting features of it that are not necessarily highlighted in the manual. Remote control is one of the things we've been hearing about. What, what's that all about? Well, the great thing about this tablet is it's the only tablet in the world that has an infrared transmitter built in. Now, even though this might seem the most ancient technology there is in terms of wireless technology, it does come very handy. If I go into the remote control application, you'll find that you have a very simple step-by-step -step setup wizard. Now, let's assume you have a brand product, let it be Sony or some other um, manufacturer that you know. You can pick from different categories, let it be your DVD player, Blu-ray disc player, hi-fi system, TV, you name it. It can even be a projector and you've got all the, the let's say, major known uh, manufacturers. So it's telling me that it will offer you a very simple swipe uh, feature. You know, what do you do most of the time, right? Turn on, channel up, channel down, volume up and down. So basically that's giving me the possibility to turn on the TV, very simply. Then if I tap on the device that I want, here's the volume up, volume down, program up and down but I can also go into the full remote control where you have all the features that you would typically have on one of the many remote controls that you typically find on your desk. Fantastic. So once we've got control of the television, can we take a look at some other features like throwing to the device? Absolutely. So now that the TV is on and ready to go, we also have a, let's call it a DLNA remote control. DLNA standing for? Digital Living Network Alliance. Now for the ancient people, it, it's coming from the Digital Home Working Group, which we started eight years ago. It's uh, basically, Let's call it a common group of in, um, indus, indus, industry members that uh, agreed on a standard that different devices can communicate to each other. Okay. So let's assume I have a video on my tablet that I want to watch in my home. Now, this is a very nice screen, but it's only, let's say, 9.4 inch diagonal. Now, I've got a 40 inch right behind me, so why don't I use that one? So the video starts playing, and we've got this little throw icon. Now, what my device is now doing is scanning my home network, and every consumer electronic device, as well as computer, will show up here. So you can see there's a green Bravia, there's a blue speaker, there's an orange Bravia. Now, we call this the green Bravia because it's got the writing. Now, I'm just taking this piece of content, and I throw it onto that TV. Now, through my wireless network at home, it's now accessing the Bravia television in the back. And despite the fact that here at IFA we've got about 3,000 network products, we still see that it's getting a connection from the controller, and it's now streaming from my tablet to my Bravia television. And I can now set this aside because luckily Android is multitasking, right? So maybe I see something that I find interesting, so I can go to the web browser and start reading what's up, what's new, you know, what's next to come. But the image we see on the screen is being fed by the tablet. So if you were to shut off the tablet at this point, that would then terminate the connection between the two devices? Exactly. And some people then wonder, why is that the case? Well, try to watch a DVD from your DVD player when you unplug it. Good point. That's where the content is. It's streaming to, let's say, a content-less device. But how does that affect the battery life of the tablet? Would you need the tablet ideally to be connected to the mains? Well, we do have a cradle that's also charging the device, so that's a perfect accessory to go with. You just put it in there, don't worry about it. Um, battery life of this one is more or less a day. Um, you know, you probably don't want to watch eight hours you know, continuously, but um, probably video streaming can be four, five, six hours while you're still browsing the web, etc., with Wi-Fi obviously connected.